Well, happy days, my fantastic numismatic coin collecting friends. And my art friends as well. Well, how do you think about the, the art channel splitting up? And if you're not checked out my art channel and you like art, um, I'll pop a little tag somewhere. Um, yeah, because we, we, we're finally doing it. And um, if all goes well, it'll do well for both channels, coins and... Um, and uh, anyway, let's, let's not talk about that. Yet. Right, again, look at the beautiful front cover of this uh, Tiddle Raid book. So, Tiddle Raiding, we're going to shops, we're basically going to shops, pay for something with a note, and they, well, we ask the Tiddle Keepers to go through the change. And sometimes it works out all right for us. In fact, it's worked out pretty smart because for the last, uh, what, since April 9th, you know, April 17th or 16th, I think it was. 2019 or 2020, 2020, wasn't it? April 2020, yeah. We've, got, we've filled this two pound book and this is the second one we've done and we've got them all apart from the three Commonwealths, Beijing, Andover and Mary Rose. And that's that, yeah. So we've even got a partial flag area there as well. All right, uh, and 50p wise, this is the first one we've got. So there's obviously more coins to collect and uh, some are pretty scarce as well but we've got the scarcest one down there the beautiful q gardens and then a couple of scarce olympics but some that we still need to nail football i've never found handball should be doable and triathlon one of the top five which again is quite hard to to, to nail okay we've got wrestling in there we've got jemima puddle duck we found a jemima puddle duck last week didn't we so we've done quite lucky with jemimas We've got Newton, We're, again on the channel we've done quite well with uh, Newtons, Flopsies and Peters again. And right down there, the last circulating coin that I know about anyway is uh, is Diversity and then some odds and sods. I might take all these out there because um, I could do with freeing up the page and fixing this one, it's, it's a bit bust. But still, so that's the Tilgade book, now let's get looking at some Tilgade coins. So. We'll start off with two pounds today, and then I've got a beautiful coin to show you that uh, my good mate Bez found, and you may remember Bez from the uh, from the X-ray videos. But, uh, more about that in a moment. Right, two pounds on the back. It's got the fifth portrait, so we know it's going to be from 2015 onwards. It is a super common William Shakespeare, the uh, the Hollow Crown. The history is. We don't keep those, they, uh, they are, you know, they're all over the place. And again, what's this one going to be? Let's focus in. And it's the World War I Army Pals. So we found, uh, we found Navy version last week. So this is the Army equivalent, but unlike the Navy, the Army one's got around about 9 million minted on that one. So definitely not a keeper. Beautiful coin, but not a keeper. Right, this has got two pounds down at the bottom, and it's the act for the abolition of the slave trade with the orange peel effect on there because there is that uh, elusive, not intended for circulation variant, which I have got in a set but not in the Tilgate album. Okay, watch this one, this looks pretty grotty, and it's a Brunel's Archers. Here we go, fabulous engineer, but um, yeah. Very common coin, part of a two coin set, isn't it? All right, so now let's start. Let's start picking up the pegs. What's this one? This one is a Trinity Lighthouse. A Trinity Lighthouse, or Trinity House? Was it serving the Mariner on the side? Let's see, yeah. Mariner being someone from the sea, like a, a mermaid, I suppose. <laughs> Or someone that sails in boats or submarines or dinghies or kayaks or whatever whatever rafts you know i once tried to build a raft out of a pallet and uh, got on it and it sank uh, well then, then were the fishing trips that um yeah you don't really want to talk about that often right two pounds down at the bottom and we've picked ourselves up a london underground roundel the signpost or whatever and it's a beautiful coin, a very scarce coin as well, one that you don't see that often. Um, but yeah, it is a definite keeper. I shall be putting this into my spares. So yeah, love it, love it, love it. Thank you Sainsbury's for that. Now, 
let's get on to the the coin that bez found okay and again bez was the guy with the the x-ray zapper we did a couple of videos where we zapped um, more recently laughter's um, laughter's coins with some su surprising results and if you haven't seen that go check it out it's quite uh, quite a, a fun video right now I was stood behind him at a, a sandwich uh, stall when I had, when our daughters were playing football and he got served and uh, you know with his bacon sandwich and then I go and get served and uh, later on he says hey down at that sandwich stall, stall I got this coin is it worth out and uh, more importantly do you want it and I said well it is probably worth about two or three quid it's a B a bond 007 just imagine if I'd have got to the front of the queue I'd have uh, <laughs> I may have got this myself but yep I gave him I gave him 10p for it so yeah so that's a beautiful belter of a coin so we have picked up a few 10p's on his travels haven't we um, over the course of this till raiding campaign now let's have a look at some stunning 50p's so first up 2020 now that's a diversity built Britain now not a bad coin but very very common a bit of a grim and grotty what's this one ah, it's Roger Bannister and his sub four minute mile again another common one one that we don't keep 2015 this is not bad 2015 and it's a battle of Britain not bad condition actually not in bad nick to be honest yeah, just double check that it is the circulating variant. There is, there is another variant out there. In fact, there's about three or four different kinds. And again, I've done a, a couple of different videos on that in the past. But um, yeah, if I remember, I'll put a tag up somewhere. Why I think that variant came to be out there. Okay. Right, let's get on. 2016. Now, could we have another Puddle Duck? Could we have another Puddle Duck again? No. It's Mrs. Tiggy Winkle. The Hedgehog. Yeah. Nice coin. I remember collecting that before I started collecting coins. I remember seeing the Puddle Duck as well before I started collecting coins. But, um, yeah, threw it straight back. Didn't collect coins, so. Right. 2017, what could this be? What could this be? Well, it's a Benjamin Bunny. Why is that there? Why is that not a beginning? I don't know. I don't know. Right. <laughs> Don't know where you got there, but you just did. So, the belter, the belter. So we've gone from uh, the ridiculous to the absolute sublime. Look at this. This came from work. Now, where I work, they need a lot of 50p's at times. So I uh, sometimes have the privilege of going through those 50p's. Not all the time, but sometimes. And we've got ourselves an Olympic triathlon. It looks a bit grim and grotty. But um, it's, uh, it's an absolute buzzer of a coin, a belter, and one I need, one I absolutely need. So we're going to tick off another one for the book. And these go for what, about between seven and ten quid, I think. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I absolutely think it's an amazing coin. A little bit underrated as well. I think the all the Olympic set is underrated. So yeah, so... Uh, Belters from this hunt, which one would you prefer to find? Would you prefer to find the £2, the 50p or the 10p? Let me know and let me know your uh, coin collecting experiences this week, my fantastic friends. And until next time, take care of the Sen. Merry Christmas. Happy days.